Welcome back to Team O'Neill. I'm Wyatt. What we're going to look at right now is how using four-wheel drive doubles the effectiveness of your parking brake. We've got a nice slippy icy hill right here to park on. Let's see what we've got going on. We're only at a 14 degree pitch according to our Jeep here and if I just set the parking brake in say two-wheel drive, parking brake on, neutral, vehicle starts sliding because only the rear tires are trying to hold us back. The parking brake only works on the rear, so those front tires are just freewheeling and turning and not doing us any good at all. What you will find is the same 14 degree pitch in four high when you set the parking brake, even though the parking brake still only works on the rear wheels, it's linked solidly through that drive shaft in the transfer case to the front axle. So really I can release the brake here and we don't go anywhere. You could get out and go for a walk. I'm not on the brakes. I'm not doing anything else. And the vehicle's holding on the same hill because the parking brake to the rear wheels through the drive shaft is also using those front tires to hold us on the hill. So right now this Jeep's in neutral, the engine's running with the parking brake on, but because it's in four wheel drive, it's not going anywhere on the same 14 degree icy slope. It's important to remember that the same rules apply when this vehicle is moving. If you want to do a handbrake turn and slide around a corner, hopefully you're in two-wheel drive so that it operates on the rear wheels. If you're in four-wheel drive, it's just going to sort of slow the whole vehicle down, or if you do yank it hard enough, it'll lock up all four tires. It's really important to know this as well if you ever plan on operating that winch. If there's another vehicle that's stuck and we plan on winching them out, if we're just in two-wheel drive with the parking brake on, chances are this Jeep will just drag itself closer to the obstacle. Versus if you lock this Jeep into four-wheel drive with the parking brake on when you use the winch, this will stay anchored a whole lot better. And instead of winching yourself towards the obstacle, you'll winch the obstacle towards you. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you like these kinds of videos, consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. If you'd like to come out and do some driving, check out TeamO'Neill.com. We offer a variety of different driving courses up here at our campus in New Hampshire. Be safe, have fun, and we'll catch you next time.